Hello world, this is Barbie Lee, and this is Shake Talk. Hello, hello, good day. Oh my gosh, so today is Friday, right? So all this week we've been talking on Shake Talk. Now, what, what is Shake Talk? Well, first of all, I shake and I talk, right? So this is my Isogenics Isoline uh, Chocolate Mint Shake, and there's always something going on in my world that I like to share. I do a lot of conversations with people, a lot of things come up, and, and this week we've been talking about what do you do when you can't do anymore, or, or what are your practices of letting go and such, right? So. Today I was thinking, so I woke up like 5 o'clock this morning, and I was like, I'm not getting out of bed. So I started listening to, I have a uh, playlist on Spotify, and it's called Positivity. And that's what I need when my brain starts going, you ever, brain, you ever have a brain that goes, blah, 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 all the time, right? Well, I like to listen to music. I like to listen to positive music. And, oh, good. And one of the, I like when I shake it well. Um, and so um, one of the songs that I love to listen to is called I Release and I Let Go. Actually, I don't even know if that's the name of it, but that's the line of the song. So, are you ready? Oh, I can do it on here. Hold on a second. If I do it on there. Oh, that's my new look. I have a new um, thingamabobber, but let's see, I have to get to it first because the iPad makes me go over there. So, the song is all about releasing and letting go. Now, how many times have you just heard people say to you, oh, just let it go, and don't you just want to bop them in the nose? Like, I know, that's the way, I know I'm coming, I'm coming. See, this is what it does. It's like, look, I'm waiting for something. Um, so I, I just want to bop them in the nose because it's not that easy just to let go, right? Because what does letting go really mean? Does it mean that you're going to forget? Does it mean you're forgiving? What I look at letting go is as is taking a breath. And I might need to take multiple breaths to let something go. But that's, for me, it's letting go. Now, there are some things, like somebody cuts me off in tra traffic, who cares, right? But then there's other things that weigh on me, and there's a couple things going on in my world right now that I'm just like, oh, I just need to let them go. I I'm, I'm very attached to them, so it's hard for me to let them go. So every time I get into that moment, I go, that's one of my favorite ways of letting go. And I make this sound because it makes me laugh, right? And that's how I can let it go. So one of my favorite things is this song, I Release and I Let Go. And uh, so Michael Gott, G-O-T-T, -T, is singing it on, um, on Spotify. And I didn't play the first uh, minute of it because he's like, there was a time in my... And he goes really, really long until it actually gets to the song. So this is how the song goes. That's really loud. And it keeps going on, keeps going on and on. That. It's a phenomenal song, and it's literally about I release and I let go. I let spirit run my life. Right, no more struggle, no more strife. Um, I'm only here for God. So whatever your terminology for God is, right, could be universe, spirit, potato. I don't care. So the song gets me to let go, right? Because I get to dance, right? So yesterday, Barbara was over and we're working on some legal documents and stuff. And before we got heavy into it, we played a different song, right? It's called Stand by Karen Drucker. And it's about, I'm a stand for peace. I'm a stand for love. I'm, a, I'm gonna take a stand for joy. And that's what she needed to hear because um, you know she was really in a frustrated mood. So these are the ways to release and let go. I love music. Music speaks to the soul. I go to the sound bath at the Center for Spiritual Living, right? Dennis Goodwill runs it. And you can just lie there for an hour and they just he just plays the gong and all the, the, <clears throat> the, the drums and all kinds of stuff. And you just get to lie there and just let the vibration wash over you and wash out of you whatever you're holding on to, because vibration is what we are, right? Energy, we're about these, these vibrational beings. So when we listen to music, it speaks to us vibrationally, right? So this other song I sent you about stand, right? So, um, and someone can, you know, if you want to text or like send a message or something like that, um, I can probably share some of the songs that I have. Oh, wait, there's my list. So I got to get to my playlist. Um, oh, but I turned that off. Oh, crap. Okay, you'll just have to listen to it from the iPad. 
Can you hear? I don't know if how well you can hear that. I always left it up to someone else to do. But then I finally realized I needed to take a stand. And that by changing my thinking, I could change my life. And that's how I could change the world. Let there be peace. I am a stand for peace. Let there be love. I am a stand for love. I am, there's a, I am a stand for joy. And that keeps going on. And these are really simple songs. It's not a whole bunch of, you know, verses and stuff like that. They're very simple. So you can just feel them. You can sing to them and stuff like that. So whenever you need to release and let go, whenever you need to breathe, whenever something is really like, you know, I don't know how many times on Facebook I see things like, I just can't take it anymore. Well, so far, anybody, you, you, you've survived 100% of your bad days to this point, right? So the odds are you're probably, you know, going to survive today. But it's how are you going to get through it, right? Are you going to let the negativity spin in your head? Are you going to let all the bullshit and the, the crap that other people are, are, and, and, the, and the world as a whole are doing? Or are you going to take a moment for yourself? Are you going to get centered in yourself? and take a breath and just let go and and I'm not saying let go of this the struggle well you can let go of the struggle but you're not gonna let go of the issue immediately it's not just gonna disappear and you're not just gonna go oh I feel so much better now it doesn't work that way it takes work right so I woke up this morning and I went oh, I don't like being angry so I'm like okay if I'm not angry what am I well then I'm love I'm peace I'm joy and then the other word that kept coming to my mind is indifferent. I was like, oh, I don't like that word. But that's, that released my anger. I'm like, okay, I can move from anger to indifferent. I can't go from angry to joy. It, it doesn't work that quickly for me, right? But I can go from anger to indifferent. Okay, I can work with indifferent. Then from indifferent, I can come back to interested. And then I can go back into love and joy. See, there's an expression that says you can't get there from here. So if I'm here and angry, I can't get to joy without all of these in between. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to be happy all of a sudden. That's the bullshit of positive thinking. This is why people say, oh, just be positive. It's bullshit. You have to get, you have to work through that. Now, I'm not saying you dwell in it and blah, blah, but you have to acknowledge it. And you have to acknowledge that, okay, maybe this situation over here is crappy. So what's good? Okay, well, I woke up this morning. I had beautiful music to listen to this morning. I was cozy in my bed this morning, right? I have a remote control to turn on my heater in my room. I have all kinds of things to be grateful for. Then I'm no longer angry, and I can turn into and get closer to joy. So whatever your practices are, whatever you want to um, do for yourself, whatever you believe to be true, whether it's God, spirit, universe, whatever, maybe you just call it science and, and what the breath, whatever, whatever it is, tap into that and allow this humanness to just breathe and really let it go. Now you might have to, it might show up right, get into so let it go and just keep doing that, right? There's a really great meditation. It goes, I breathe in, I breathe out, I breathe in, I breathe out. That's it. That's the meditation. So what if today, to assure your quality of life, you found just one way, just one way to release and let go. And even in just for a moment, you experienced the opposite of your anger or the opposite of your frustration. Even if it was just for a moment, wouldn't that be a delicious day? Ooh, make good choices, everyone.